<laughs> Real humans! Aww. It's great to see you. Thank you so much for coming out. Right, we're going to sing... Uh, well, that was Three Miles Out, for those of you who didn't know that song. Three Miles Out, that's the first song from our latest album, Journey Through the Rake. And uh, we're going to play a song from our first album now. This is called Around the World. And uh, it's a, a song of determination, all about Dame Ellen MacArthur and her solo travel around the world um, back in 2005. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a real song of determination. <laughs>
Thank you so much. It's so good to see you. Yeah, so um, we've been very lucky over the last year that um, while we haven't been able to do this for a long time, we have had a wonderful live stream audience that's joined us most Sundays for 50 weeks. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. There must be some of you here tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, we all together, I think we all found a new way of being able to find community and uh, company on a Sunday evening. And for us, it helped us write a new album, which is fantastic. So yeah. thanks. <laughs> so we're going to play, um, this is it's kind of almost feels like um, a, an album launch, because the album came out in um, April and it's, it's really new. But um, yeah, we, we thought it'd be really lovely to just to indulge you and try and bring you the best of the album. And it features the wonderful skills of Mr. Graeme Coancello. <laughs> Mr. Toby Share and Mr. Evan Carson. <laughs> and these guys really put so much into uh, everything they work on. It's, it's just an absolute joy. So yeah, this next song is um, a song called The Miller. And it's um, inspired by the sustainability of Woodbridge Tide Mill and that kind of... The fact there's uh, been some great sustainable ideas um, before and... So yeah, Lucy penned this one, as many of our songs are penned around local Suffolk things. So yeah, this is around that. <laughs>
Thank you. Um, so we'd like to take you now, if it's okay, um, just down the road to Albra, to the, uh, to the lifeboat house where the great ship that is the, the Freddie Cooper resides. And we wanted to write a song to dedicate to all the amazing men and women of the R and LI around the country. Um, and this being our sort of our neck of the woods, and we do like to go out for a kayak. Um, we really appreciate particularly the work of the, everyone at the Albra lifeboat. And this song embodies um, the story of uh, a rescue in 1996 of the Red House Lugger that was in a lot of trouble off to sea and uh, the Lowestoft lifeboat and the Freddie Cooper both went out to rescue and uh, at one point the Lowestoft lifeboat was apparently 20 feet above Freddie Cooper about to fall down on her and all its crew and uh, the coxswain of the Freddie Cooper just pulled on the gas and powered out of the way and they saved everybody, brought them all back. Um, so, yeah, this is... What amazing people. Yeah. Yeah. 
Thank you so much. We're uh, going to sing a song now called The Hungry Sea, and um, from a, a story of a uh, life uh, rescue mission um, to another type of rescue mission only. This one involved a lady called Violet Jessup, who was Argentinian born originally, but she lived out her latter years here in Suffolk. And uh, when I found this story, I was just fascinated really because she survives three shipwrecks in her lifetime. Um, one of which was the Titanic, and um, she's the kind of woman that you wouldn't want to get on a boat with, I think, safe to say. Um, Aww, poor Violet. What, what an amazing thing to, to live through, really. Yeah, she managed to um, live out her uh, latter years in Suffolk, which is, after going through three shipwrecks, I think she, she deserved that. She a serves a little bit of country time, a bit, yeah. bit of break, yeah. <laughs> Twice in one maid's lifetime when the ship 
You okay? <laughs> so we're going to try and whistle through the songs because this hour is going to go too quickly and we don't want to, oh, it already has to miss any time with you. This is a song that um, Lucy has penned really sort of um, very closely linked to this fabulous building. Yeah, well, um, it's about the Garrett family and Denise and Garrett actually founded Snake Maltings. Um, so what better place to play it than here, eh? And... Um, so this is about their family, the Garretts, and um, all of their amazing achievements through the generations. Elizabeth Garrett Anderson is probably a name you'll recognise, who was the first female doctor. And um, there are many, many others. It's a fascinating family to read up on, actually, if you ever get a chance. So this is our little bit of industrial. Sweat and steam. This 
this roller Offshoot of its father Steel, sweat, and steam It taught me No is not an answer Steel, sweat, and steam such a local gig for us. We literally lived, lived down uh, five minutes down the road from here. Couldn't get more local. And uh, what a venue to play, hey? I feel very, very lucky. Um, this next song that we're going to sing is called Buried in Ivy. And it's uh, just a little song about the state of the world, really, and uh, where we might be in a hundred years' time um, if we carry on at the rate that we're going with pollution, etc.
great. We're going to sing a, a song now about David Attenborough. Um, this is someone that uh, John particularly is very inspired by at the moment. Flutes, whistles, and everything. Shouldn't be allowed, should it, playing everything, but he does. So over these, um, over these last sort of months, um, there's one song on the live stream um, that uh, seemed to resonate with, with us and everybody else who was watching. And, um, it was a Sandy Denny song, so we're going to play um, a song called Who Knows Where the Time Goes for You Now. Thank you. And we'd like to dedicate it especially to our live stream audience. I'm 
going to try really hard not to cry. Because the last time I sang this song, I cried. Lucy Young, ladies and gentlemen. (laughs) 
Thank you so, so much, everybody, for coming out. You are all incredible people. We're, we're so you? grateful for you to, to take the leap back into live music so early. Um, and I mean, we feel so safe and in, the, in the capable and wonderful hands of Snake Maltings. And um, can we have a, a round of applause for Snake Maltings, please? <laughs> I must also ask for a big hand for Lawrence on sound. Woo! Justin on lights up at the back. If you clap loudly enough, he'll hear you. <laughs> and to Danielle and all the backstage staff here, thank you so, so much for having us. It's been an absolute uh, bit of a dream come true, really, mm -hmm. being here today. So um, we're going to leave you with this, uh, this song. This is our last song. It's, um, it's one where, on the live stream, with there will be all these dark hearts appearing on the emojis. So it's a song called Dark Heart, and it's, uh, it's one that Lucy penned. Yeah. So this is a story, a very local story, just along the coast at Dunwich, and uh, it's about a girl called Eva, who got her heart broken when her sailor lover went away to sea and uh, never returned, and she was broken-hearted and decided the best thing to do was rip out her own heart and throw it into the sea, which is very logical. Isn't that nice? And, uh, How lovely. Perfect for a folk song. Perfect for folk. Perfect, perfect for folk. So um, yeah. this is the result. And uh, well, the story actually goes that if you um, pick, uh, ever see a heart-shaped piece of driftwood on Dunwich Beach, that it's actually cursed. So be very careful. It does also feature the amazing baron skills of Mr. Evan Carson.
Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming out. Graham Coe, Toby Cher, Evan Carson, myself, John and Lucy. Thank you so much. It's been an absolute dream. Thank you.
So this is our first, our first gig with Graham. Um, isn't he lovely? <laughs> He's come all the way from Edinburgh just to play for you today. to our, our other guests we love you very much um so yeah this is a uh, river man and uh just a, a chance to do, do some head banging in your seats if you'd like to <laughs> safe socially distance head bang yeah
you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Hope to see you soon. Hopefully we'll see you outside for a chat. Take good care. Hopefully we'll see you soon.